Drugs used in inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease is an umbrella term used to describe autoimmune disorders that involve chronic inflammation of the GIT. Now remember these two keywords, autoimmune and inflammation. The two important diseases that are categorized under the term inflammatory bowel disease are ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. The symptoms of both of them are basically the same and it's very difficult to differentiate uh, between both of them unless a colonoscopy is done. The ulcerative colitis is a long-lasting inflammation and sores or ulcers in the inner lining of the colon, while Crohn's disease will occur in all the layers of the bowel walls. Ulcerative colitis as it is indicated in the name, it is only limited to the colon while Crohn's disease can occur anywhere from the mouth to the anus. Ulcerative colitis is continuous inflammation while in Crohn's disease there are healthy parts of the intestine mixed with the inflamed parts. Now the symptoms of both of them are about the same and as I said you can't differentiate. The symptoms are diarrhea, bleeding, abdominal discomfort anemia and weight loss. The management of inflammatory bowel disease include three approaches. One is to suppress the inflammation of the gut, second is to prevent any infection and thirdly to decrease the immune response because it is an autoimmune disease. To suppress the inflammation, we use amino salicylates and also glucocorticoids. To treat the infection, we use antibiotics of course. And to suppress the immunity of the patient, we use immunosuppressants and biological DMARDs. The same ones which were used in rheumatoid arthritis because that was an autoimmune disease as well. Now in amino salicylates, the active molecule is basically mesalamine or mesalazine or 5 amino salicylic acid. Now salicylic acid if you remember uh, is the same thing that was basically aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid that was but its chief action was to inhibit inflammatory mediator release such as interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, leukotrienes, etc. Now there are four drugs that we can use to deliver this active molecule that is 5-ASA to the colon. One is sulfasalazine, second is mesalamine which is the active molecule itself, olsalazine and balsalazide. Sulfasalazine, olsalazine and balsalazide are prodrugs. Sulfazilazine is basically sulfapyridine and 5-ASA. Mesalamine is 5-ASA. Olsalazine is uh, two molecules of 5-ASA linked by an azolinkage. And balsalazide are, um, is 5-ASA and another metabolite. Now, sulfazilazine, when colonic bacteria act on it, it is converted into sulfapyridine and 5-ASA. 5-ASA will do its job as anti-inflammatory but the sulfapyridine part of this drug will cause a severe side effect such as skin rash, fever, hepatitis, pancreatitis, pneumonitis etc. Now one way to remember these side effects is that the one metabolite of sulfasalazine that is 5-ASA is anti-inflammatory while sulfapyridine is pro-inflammatory. Mesalamine is given in delayed release capsules or pH dependent tablets so that its active form is released in the colon and not absorbed in upper GIT. Olsalazine is converted by colonic bacteria to its active form and so is balsalicide. The other anti-inflammatory agents uh, that are, we are using are glucocorticoids of course. They are used for the short term treatment. Chief drugs are um, prednisolone and hydrocortisone. If their use is prolonged, they can lead to adrenal suppression and other severe side effects such as osteoporosis, peptic ulcers, infections and hyperglycemia. 
Now why we use antibiotics because one theory regarding IBS is that you can get IBS by abnormal balance of uh, colonic bacteria. We give antibiotics to decrease the harmful bacteria, to protect the gut wall from infection and to decrease the inflammatory response to infection. The main antibiotics used can be metronidazole, clarithro clarithromycin and ciprofloxacin. Now the last approach to treatment of IBS is to decrease the immune response. We use two types of drugs that is immunosuppressants and biological DMARDs. The chief immunosuppressants used are azathioprine, 6 mercaptopurine, methotrexate and cyclosporine. Now azathioprine is basically a prodrug of 6 mercaptopurine which is a drug which blocks purine metabolism and DNA synthesis. So it basically inhibits uh, formation of lymphocytes and thus decreased antibody production or T cell immunity. Methotrexate is actually DHF reductase inhibitor, dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor and it will suppress the bone marrow and decreased antibody formation will be there. Cyclosporin is actually interleukin 2 inhibitor and that will inhibit the T cell activation. The biological DMARDs act by acting as TNF alpha antagonists. Mainly omelizumab can be used but their use is restricted due to their increased cost and risk of infections by suppressing the immunity. That's all about IBS.